375 million years ago. 10 million years later, life had changed a lot, which meant animals' DNA had changed a lot too. We saw fish with legs. They still had gills like fish, but they had nostrils and lungs too. Land ho! At last! We are half fish and half land animal. What were the benefits of going on land? By Molly. There was a lot of food just waiting to be eaten. There were no predators yet, so it was safer to be on land than to be in water. Water, really big predators. Land, no big predators yet. Can we go too? No, today's a school day for little fish. <laughs> the fish with legs couldn't walk all the way onto the land, but they could crawl and prop themselves up on their front legs. They even had wrists to help with that. Their legs were stronger than ever. Look at all the stuff to eat. We could have crunchy scorpions and juicy centipedes. Uh, I think I'll save room for dessert. Scorpion, centipede. Crawl this way, class. Like humans, fish with legs had limbs with one upper bone and two lower bones and wrists. Upper arm bone, lower arm bones, wrist. Fish with legs and human. Where we are now, 375 MYA. Three hundred and forty million years ago. Our next ancestors were the first animals that could really walk on land. They were amphibians. I'm an amphibian. I'm an amphobian. I'm a Dorothy amphibian. Amphibians of today. Frogs, toads, salamanders, newts. All evolve later. Where we are now. 340 MYA. They weren't completely land animals. They needed a watery place to lay eggs. The eggs didn't have shells, so they would dry out and die if they were on land. The eggs and babies need to grow in water. Look, prehistoric tadpoles! Like humans, adult amphibians have lungs, have arm and leg bones that look more like human bones than previous animals. Amphibian, human. Unlike humans, amphibians lay eggs, are cold-blooded so they get heat from outside their body by basking in the sun, have lungs that are like simple balloons that can only take in a small amount of oxygen. The babies are fish-like. They have gills and swim underwater. Eventually, they grow legs. Two hundred and ninety five million years ago, early reptiles. As we went forward in time, there were still amphibians. But our next ancestor was a new kind of animal, a reptile. Reptile eggs had a waterproof shell to keep moisture in, 
Now the babies could hatch on land. We can live on land. Like in houses? That comes later. Much later. Reptiles of today. Lizards, snakes, turtles, crocodiles, and alligators. All evolve later. Two hundred and sixty million years ago. Late reptiles. The reptile's skin was tough and scaly. It kept moisture in, too. Their lungs could take in more oxygen. And they had bigger brains that helped them use strategies for hunting. Class, these ancestors are true land animals, the frizz shouted. Hooray! We're taking the dino path! That's a good thing? <laughs> Walk this way, kids! Two dinosaurs and mammals. Like humans, reptiles live on land, have larger brains and than amphibians of a similar size, have lungs with blood vessels, and pockets that allow them to take in greater amounts of oxygen. <laughs>